hello and welcome to another video so today we are going to day three so let's create a day three folder right click over here select new folder call it day zero three then create a file inside index.html start with the HTML declarations so now since we we know we must do the HTML declarations uh, VS code can help us make them easily so I like using the word ID so ID means integrated development environment that's integrated development environment so it's a type of an ID because it helps us uh, generate code easily and be more productive so that's why I use the word ID and Visual Studio interchangeably so let's see how it can help us so just hold shift and press 1 to type the exclamation there when, once you type it, press tab to finish and it will set up for you the HTML declarations. So first of all, we have the doc type here, uh, the language. Uh, so the HTML open tag and the closing tag and an attribute called lang which is set to English. So this is language English. Okay. So don't worry much about the meta tags, uh, they will make sense later when we discuss them, but they should be there. And so only these and this was not there in our previous one, but everything is there, the HTML opening, the head and the body. So we just change this to uh, today's topic, which we are doing images, we want to set images in our pages then let's center a uh, heading here h1 called adding images to our web page okay so let's do that first let's see how that looks on a browser let me grab that d03 put it there and I'm missing a G somewhere there, adding. Okay. So now it's adding images to our web page. Okay. So first of all, we need the images and we need them to be in the same location as our index.html. So we head over to our browser. Can you tab? Go to google.com. So we can search anything like wildlife or vehicles. Uh, let's do vehicles, uh, cars, then press enter to search. Uh -huh. So now let's change this to English. Uh, there's no option to change it at the time. Oh, anyways, so, oh, okay, here it is. Change to English. Okay, so now let's press uh, this images tab here. Click on that, and then we'll have this. So if you want to download an image, first of all, uh, you have to select it, then wait for it to load. You can see the, the line that came immediately uh, here, once I opened, wait for that to load. Then this is the full image, right click it and save image as. Click on that, then first of all, before even doing uh, saving, first find your folder, its location, mine is here, your name. Day three. So we save the images here. We give it a name, a simple name like pick underscore or just immediately zero one. Then we click save. Then we can confirm here that it's actually there in Visual Studio. Okay, let's just close that. Uh, let's get a few more, like four. Save this. So now it will save in day three automatically. So we also give it, I uh, don't think that's a good format. 
I usually like prefer JPG. So let's see what else we get JPG. Okay, that's JPG. I'm going to click that to get the name here and then just change to save. That's one more. Save the JPG. Click that. Let me name it zero three. Okay, let's see. Okay, you can also download this one and call it zero four. Uh -huh, no, let me try this one. Prepare this one. Okay. Uh -huh. It's not the same format. Try this one. Okay. The same format. Four. Save. So now we have images in our folder. So we can confirm them here view add icons so here are images here's our file so let's see how to upload i uh, mean to add images to our web page with a code okay <coughs> you make that big So we use the tag img for that, which exists just as one tag. We don't have a closing img tag. Then inside here we need attributes to set the image. So src meaning source. Then we type the name of each inner image. So in this case, the first one is pick01. All right there. Pick01. 01.jpg okay let's see how that looks so it's very very big and we can control its size via another attribute called width and select like 400 pixels abbreviated px refresh this and it's much smaller so we can write something about it up here. Uh, H4 Ferrari. Yeah, okay. Below that, put another H4. What's our second image? It's a Bugatti. Bugatti. So the IMG tag SRC equals pick zero two dot jpg then width equals 400px and we have that okay the next ones h4 it's a mclaren Can copy paste this instead of typing it out there we have it let's just change this to three and there we have it so we can copy paste the both of these copy paste and the last one we have Porsche so Porsche And this is pick 04. Okay, so that's how you add images. And you can see here we've used only width because if we try and put height, we might mess up the aspect ratio and it won't look very symmetrical. So let's try like 500px and see. 
for the last one so you can see if you force it uh, to be longer it's therefore better to have either this or this so if you prefer using the height just remove the width but now it will look much different let's see so the priority is the height and then the width conforms to that but since we are using width let's just use width so just don't use both not unless you know the exact uh, measurements you want to make it uh, maintain its aspect ratio so let me go back then uh, with control Z so remember if you do anything you uh, you aren't intending you can go back to where you are with control Z undo so let me remove that yeah okay let's see now okay so that's okay so that this is all about images uh, that's it about images. I'll see you on the next video.